Okay. Uh, it's hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Remy, doing my first ever actual legit YouTube video, uh, and we're gonna be reviewing Shadowlands. Um, so I've never actually done a official YouTube video. Um, most of my stuff on YouTube is just my streams and you know, <clears throat> podcast stuff uh, that I've already recorded and just kind of put up there. So uh, welcome to my very first YouTube uh, video uh, review about Shadowlands. Um, so where to begin? Um, so we all know we have to go through the ice crown scene and honestly, like I'm not hating on the opening. It's cool. It's, you know, we're all gathered at ice crown. We, we see everyone there. We all know we have to jump in the portal and then we go to the mall. Now the mall is probably in my in my experience and opinion from other other people, the mall is probably one of the most hated places because you can't mount. And I don't know how many times I press my mount button, and I hate myself every time I do it because it doesn't work. I just click 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 nothing. Um, I don't. I hate myself every time I go to kill something, and then I'm like like oh all right, I killed an elite. Time to hop on my mount and run away. Nope. <laughs> so I really hate myself when I end up doing that. But other than that, the mall is a pretty cool place. Um. I love the design of it. I know that we can't mount on it, but it's still pretty fucking cool place. Like, I love, like, the, the, the fucking aesthetic. Let's put it that way. The aesthetic of the mall is pretty fucking dope. Um, and that's, that's, that's a common theme in Shadowlands. The aesthetics... Mwah. Uh, so, let's talk about the aesthetics. Um, we've got the mall. We've got Oribos, our main hub. And then we have Bastion, Maldraxxus, Ardenweald, and uh, Revendreth. Let's start with Bastion. Bastion's the first place you go to when you start questing um, and, like, really getting into the storyline when you leave the Maw. Um, and Bastion is beautiful. I love picking herbs there with my Warlock, which is what I main. Um, and it is honestly, like, the Paladin Palace. It is... What I would look like if I thought of where do paladins come from, Bastion and uh, was it uh, Elysium Hold or whatever? It, it beautiful, literally the most gorgeous fucking place. And I I alt a paladin, so putting my paladin in there wasn't too bad. Um, I loved it. It really does scream paladin. It really does like that whole place, and um, which makes sense why Uther goes there. You know. But, um, it's, uh, Bastion is beautiful. Herb picking there is, like, tranquil as fuck. Um, and it being, like, a starting zone, it's pretty chill in general. Like, as far as, like, world PvP and people wandering around and stuff, you're, you're not, like, it's not like Maldraxxus. <laughs> um, so, you know, you, you, Bastion, uh, I love... I love everything about it, other than, like, the portals to, like, Heroes Hold and Elysium, like, because, like, I, I honestly have walked off the edge of those so many times, like, oh my god, I don't know how many times I've, like, near death or killed myself, um, because I'm, I'm not thinking about clicking on a portal to go down, I am literally just, like, boop, and then I have to train myself to, to click the portal to go down, um, so... Other than that, <laughs> other than on my own stupidity, Bastion is beautiful. Um, and uh, that after Bastion, we go to Maldraxxus. Uh, and Maldraxxus is like a big fucking kick in the face when you get there. Uh, I remember I had war mode on, like always. And <laughs> um, I immediately got the shit kicked out of me the moment I step in Maldraxxus leveling. Um, like, you get, you, like, literally, you enter the theater of pain, I think, and it's just all downhill from there. I don't know how many times not only did monsters kill me, but some alliance, uh, you know, fuckwad killed me. Um, so, yeah, having to deal with those was a little frustrating, but, because, like, especially in the beginning, like, I played... The day it released, the moment it released, the hour it released, I was waiting with bated breath, like, <sighs> give it. Uh, and then once it does, like, I literally, like, powered through to 60 in, like, a day and a half. Um, 
So yeah, I remember like the spawn rates when we first started were god awful. I and I, I'm not saying like like they spawned too little. It was either they spawned too little or they spawned way too quickly, and I had shit spawning on top of me. Like and then they fixed it. Um, and I understand, like, opening day, there's gonna be a lot of bugs, but, um, some of the spawn rates were kind of iffy to start out with for the first day or two. I remember shit spawning on top of me constantly, like, right after I killed it. I'd be like, boop, back, and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? And, like, I'm like, I'm halfway dead, I'm trying to, you know, drain life and not die, and, like, a shit just keeps spawning on top of me, and that, that, that was shitty. But, it's opening day, so you gotta gotta give it a little credit um and speaking of opening uh my server smooth as butter uh like smooth as butter you know uh i had no fucking problem like no wait time no queue times no lag issues uh literally like the moment i logged in whoop like, just slid right into it, no problem. And I know there were, like, four or five servers that had few times and issues logging on. Majority of it uh, was really smooth, and I have to give it to Blizzard, like, <laughs> props, man. That was one of the smoothest fucking expansion openers I've ever experienced, and I've been playing since BC. So, I mean, I feel like that says a lot. Um, Alright, and so we get through Maldraxxus, which honestly, like, Maldraxxus is probably my least favorite place. Um, I don't particularly, like, I, the aesthetic is cool. Like, it's very, um, it's very Scourge. It's, it's very, uh, Ice Crown. Um, and it's very, you know, it, you know, it, it, it screams Warlock, even though I didn't put my Warlock there, and that's, like, supposed to be Biss, I think. Um, I don't care. Uh, um... The only thing I don't like about Maldraxxus is the map is kind of a fucking mess. Like, navigating that place, kind of hard. I uh, don't particularly like the way it's set up. Um, other than that, really cool place. Uh, really cool covenant. Got some cool abilities. I like the like the death bolt or something that you get, um, and the flesh craft. It's, it, they're pretty cool abilities, and they're very useful, and if I was smart, I would, uh, put my warlock there, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, moving on. Then you go to Ardenweald. Ardenweald is the fairy capital. It is beautiful. It is, alongside Bastion, it's probably, like, the second most prettiest place there. Um, Ardenweald is very mystical and very druidy. You know, it reminds me of like the Emerald Dream and, uh, you know, so it, it literally screams druid. It really does. Or shaman. Um, it's a very kind of nature, earthy, you know, hippie, dippy place. And I love it. Um, and I'm going to say that a lot about every fucking thing about this game, probably. I love it. Um, but uh, yeah, there is. Um, a really cool aesthetic again to Arden Weald. Um, and I think that uh, also picking herbs in there is relaxing and awesome. Uh, I I don't really particularly like the storyline in Arden Weald or the Winter Queen. Like I don't really get it and um, I don't really get like the Winter Queen's like demeanor. She's like she's either really cool and like really like kind-hearted or she's like ice queen and i don't i don't i don't know like it's it's weird it's like she's got dual personalities um but uh other than that like uh the the covenant abilities kind of shit um the the blessings which i wanted to put my paladin in ardenweald originally when we were like before it dropped and we're we're learning about stuff and whatnot, the blessings seemed really cool. But the cooldown and the amount of mana they take and the fact that you can't like pick and choose, you have to like cycle through uh the blessings kinda was a, a downer and uh a, a deal breaker. Um and I can't remember the other covenant ability. Oh, it's the it's the, the soul transform where you turn into like a fox. I mean honestly the covenant abilities for, for Ardenweald are kind of shit. Just saying. I don't know if they're good for anybody. Uh, I haven't really checked. But um, on my end, uh, even for Paladin, 
No. And I have a couple other uh, characters that I probably will level and put in other places. Like, I, I might put my mage in Ardenweald. Um, I don't know yet. I have a druid as well. I might put them in Ardenweald. Um, but uh, as it stands right now, like, Ardenweald's kind of a useless covenant to me. Um, they're kind of a more of an aesthetic covenant. You know, they're, they're pretty, you get to turn into a fox and, you know, all that stuff. Um, so, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just me, but that's how I feel about Ardenweal. It's pretty, but it's useless. Um, and then you go from Ardenweal to Revendreth. And let me just tell you, I fucking love Revendreth and Vent the Venthyr. I put my warlock in the Venthyr Covenant. And I know that's not Biss, and I know uh, some people aren't, like, happy with me because, you know, I, eh, whatever. But I I am a goth girl at heart, and my little goth girl squeed, like, squeed when I saw the gothic architecture, the gargoyles, uh, the stoneborn are so fucking cool. Uh, and the Venthyr are, like, like uh, vampires, you know, it, it, it's... It's so, like, they drink red stuff, anima, you know, it looks like blood. Come on, come on. Can't get any better than that. And, I mean, I'm a warlock. Why wouldn't I go to the Venthyr? Like, it just makes sense. Um, so, the Venthyr, the Revendreth area, I love it. It's beautiful. It's dark. It's It's got such a great color palette. Like, the way they, they colored everything and used, like, oh my god, the layers of colors. And, like, I know some people are like, oh, it's it's monotone. It's, like, it's dusty and, and browns and reds. and uh, No, it's fucking beautiful. And I don't fucking care what you say. It's goddamn beautiful. And it reminds me of every 90s vampire movie that I grew up with and loved. Um, you know, Interview with the Vampire, it gives, it gives me those feels. Um... You know, I, 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 I like to pretend that, you know, Prince, whatever the fuck his name is, is like a Lestat. Uh, <laughs> um, but um, anyway, uh, the Venthyr Covenant abilities, uh, the, what is it, the Impending Catastrophe and the, sh uh, the Door of Shadows, fucking love it. Uh, as someone who has a hard time moving around a lot and is slow, uh, I have now three different, essentially, like, transports. I have my gate, I have my Deonic Circle, and I have the Door of Shadows, all which are awesome. And the, the Door of Shadows stuns uh, people, too, so which it makes it even better. So if I, like, I want to, like, zoom ahead and stun a group and then just AoE the fuck out of them, like, impending catastrophe, great AoE damage. It also applies a curse, so I don't have to even think about putting curses on when I use it. Uh, that, on top of, you know... Um, what is it called? The my two other AOE spells that I can't think of the name of right now. Um, it, mm, oh, I love it. I just love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, and so yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying the Venthyr as a warlock. Um, I the cullings and stuff that I do. Um, are pretty simple. I mean, they're they're kind of like the emissary quests, and they're they're. Some of them are worthwhile. Um, I will say that the amount of anima we get um, doing quests is super fucking small. And gathering anima takes fucking forever. And that's got to be one of my, my one of my critiques is like, why am I only getting like 35 like pieces of anima here and there? Like why, why can't like when I do my callings get like 200? Um, the, the amount of anima you get just takes fucking forever. And, yeah, sure, you get five pieces of 35 pieces of anima. So that's, what, a uh, hundred something. Um, and it still doesn't make a dent. Like, I have to collect a thousand anima right now. And I'm only at, like, 200 and something because it takes fucking forever. And you only get anima from, like, callings, world quests, and doing your daily dungeons. Um and like, I've, I've just started raiding because raiding dropped this week. And I mean, I get anima from that, but it's still small. And I, I'm, I don't know if there's something that they have in place that it's going to like have big caches of anima, but I really hope they do because anima gathering is fucking slow. And I know that the game just came out and they, they want to pace content, but 
they could up it a little bit. Instead of like 35, could you just give us 50? Just a little, this is just a bump, you know? Um, uh, and I know that my review isn't going to be as technical as other people's out there. This is just my experience. So uh, take with it what you will, but the anima gathering is really fucking slow. Um, so I don't, I don't particularly like that. Um, so what's next? Dungeons. All right. So I've been doing, uh, mythics and heroics and, uh, I love the dungeons. Um, I, I'm trying to think of one I don't like. And the only one that comes to mind is it's, um, Oh gosh, it's it's one that's based in Maldraxxus. I'm gonna look it up really quick. But uh, so far, my favorite dungeons are the 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 one in Ardenweald, the Mist one. That that one I love. It's beautiful. Uh, and um, let's see what else. I I love the. Oh gosh! All right, here we go. So I think it's Plaguefall. Yeah, Plaguefall. I don't really like. Uh, a lot of people don't know what they're doing on that dungeon, especially when you do it in LFG, and um, it it gets kind of frustrating. Plaguefall, not my favorite. Um, Theater of Pain is pretty fun. The Other Side, pretty fun. Uh, okay, Sanguine Depths, the hallway shit. I hate hallway fights, but it's still a good dungeon. Um, it's still pretty, you know, easy. Um, let's see, Halls of Atonement, love it. Uh, Let's see, Spire of Ascension, love it. Necrotic Wake, love it. And the thing is, is all these dungeons are like such, like they're spaced out enough and designed with the intent of keys, I think, in mind. And it's pretty, f they're pretty fucking well designed. And they're all different. Like, I feel like uh, a lot of the dungeons in the past have kind of a similar feel to them as you go along, where it's kind of got the same path, uh, same kind of rhythm to it. Uh, these dungeons have such a better rhythm. And such a cool, like, pace to them. And they're all different. And they all feel different. And I love it. To the point where, like, I don't mind doing keys. And I'm not a, a mythic key girl. I'm a raider. Um, I I prefer raids because they're much more uh, predictable. Um, so mythic keys kind of throw me off. I'm terrible at uh, spont spontaneity and uh, things that I, I have a hard time. Like, my brain can handle raids because it's, it's the same thing over and over again, but with dungeons and keys, like it, it changes every week and you have different affixes and the predictability gets kind of hard. And my, my little brain has a hard time. All right. I'm going to admit it. I'm a stoner. My brain sucks. Um, <laughs> but, um, that being said, still awesome to have, uh, dungeons that are really designed for keys. Um, the other side has to be my favorite dungeon. I love the the ending bo boss, the portals, so fun. Um, I fucking love it to death. Uh, it's it's really good. Um, Theater of Pain's got to be my second favorite, and coming in third has to be Mist of Tirna Scythe. I think that's that's how you pronounce it. Those have to be my top three favorite. Um, uh, and I know. They aren't like Venthyr dungeons, but they're still fun. Um, I do like my ability in Venthyr dungeons to be able to uh, communicate with the little gargoyles, the stoneborn, and make them my pets for like a brief period of time for like 30 seconds, I think. I love it. It's fun. Uh, the gargoyles in the game remind me of the gargoyles from like Disney cartoon. Uh, so I'm having a lot of like reminiscing flashbacks from my childhood which is a lot of fun um and yeah um and speaking of dungeons and raids the raid castle nathria um so i've only gotten through two bosses and uh we did what was it um oh fuck uh i know we did the first one so the shriek wing and then um the artificer uh, I forgot what is the the whole name, but the artificer and the artificer was a hard hard fight. We spent all night trying to figure that one out, and we got it. Um, my guild got it, and we were super proud of ourselves, and we were super happy about it. Um, 
but it was hard and we did it before it was nerfed so uh mwah, mwah, yeah uh <laughs> take that but um yeah so uh we spent a good portion of our night learning the artificer fight um and it was a lot of fun i i have to say that we had a lot of fun learning it um it wasn't like hard and, and to the point of frustration and whatnot it was a lot of fun and i think we were really excited to be there so it made it even better shriekwing was a pretty easy fight pretty uh rinse and repeat kind of guy it only took us two tries um and i had a lot of fun now the second night we did raid uh we tried to do the huntsman and uh we had a hard time with the puppers uh we were we're still trying to figure out how to um do it now we didn't have our full raid group that night so maybe that was why uh but it was it was it's so far a good raid and i'm looking forward to doing more um i am definitely excited to uh really uh get through it i know a lot of people have already busted their way through like tryhards my guild we might have a few tryhards in our guild but as it stands, like, you know, we're, we're pretty casual players. Um, so, you know, and there's nothing wrong with being a casual. If someone tells you a casual is wrong, they can go to hell. Because casual players make up probably the majority of this game. Um, anyway, little rant. Uh, so Castle and Athria so far has been really fun. And I know they've been nerfing a lot of stuff and changing stuff because certain, you know, uh, talents have been kind of iffy and whatnot. But... I'm looking forward to doing more. Um, I am looking forward to the Kel facade or whatever uh, um, fight where you know you have to heal him and whatnot. That that looks that looks intense, and I'm ex I'm ecstatic. Like the harder fights, like those ones, like the Artificer, are way more interesting to me than the Huntsman um, or Shriekwing, and I'm super excited to get to all of the bosses in Castle Nathria. Um, uh, I don't know when uh, LFR opens, but that's going to be interesting because I'm definitely going to be doing LFR with my healer. Um, I'm someone that really needs uh, practice when it comes to healing, um, so that's why she's my alt. Um, but uh, from what I've experienced on my DPS side, it's going to be a lot of fun to learn how to heal Castle Nathria. Um, but yeah, uh, so my first impressions of Shadowland in general, great game, fucking awesome. I'm, I haven't been this excited for an expansion since maybe Wrath or Cataclysm, and even Cataclysm was kind of iffy. Um, and so yeah, I've been playing for so long and have not been this excited for WoW in so fucking long. Like, I've, I've endured Mist of Pandaria. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that because a lot of people like Mist of Pandaria. I didn't. I thought it was Kung Fu Pandas. I thought they built an expansion around a goddamn joke and didn't like it. Um, that being said, some of the fucking transmogs were pretty good, but I didn't like the dungeons and I didn't like the storyline in Mists. Um, Cataclysm, before that, I mean, I loved Firelands. I, I rated the fuck out of Firelands. Uh, but other than that, I mean, Cataclysm was kind of an iffy expansion as well. Um, let's see, after that was Warlords of Draenor. Warlords of Draenor can suck a big fatty. I hated that expansion. It was probably the worst expansion I've ever fucking played. Um, and... Yeah, so fuck Warlords of Draenor. Um, and after that, what? Um, BFA? And I hope I'm not missing something. <laughs> but BFA, I didn't play BFA that much until Nihilotha came out. Because I liked Nihilotha. The raid was great. Uh, the rest of the expansion from the beginning up until then, not a big fan of. BFA kind of sucked too. Uh, I didn't like the borrowed power system, and I know we have a borrowed power system with, like, conduits and shit now as well, but I didn't like the Azerite power. I don't like, like, that's my my thing with anima. It takes a lot while for us to gain anima, which our renown means, it means our renown takes forever. And I'm sitting at renown 6 right now um, with my covenant, and I, I really want to make more progress, but it takes fucking forever. 
to get nut to get anima and i'm i'm not about to grind a shit ton of world quests just to gather 200 bits of anima uh give us more anima with quests blizzard come on uh more anima please um but uh yeah so this expansion looks promising this expansion looks like it's going to be fun, and I can't wait to see what more content comes out. I can't wait to see what fucking kind of playable allied races we're going to get, because we know we're going to get some. And let me tell you, I'm not a big fan of some of the allied races that we've gotten so far. I don't like the fox people. I'd rather have the little snake people. Uh, I didn't. I just. I just don't. I don't like. Like I don't like fox people. I'm not a. I'm not a furry hater. I'm not. You know, to each his own, I do not kink shame. But, uh, they're, I don't like the fox people for the same reason I don't like goblins. They're too fucking small. Um, and like, really, how threatening is a goddamn fox? Not very much. Um, even fucking taurins are more threatening than a fox. Um, and I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for it. Hate me all you want for not liking the little fox people. Whatever they're called. What are they called? I don't remember. Um, anyway. Uh, so yeah. Hate me all you want. I don't like foxes. Uh, I, uh, I think Zandalaris are pretty cool. I don't really like the Nightborn. They're kind of like anorexic night elves. Um, what else did we get? Uh, the Maghar Orc's pretty fucking dope. Gotta say, like them. Um, I don't like pandas. I already went through that. I don't like the fact that they don't have cha they ha they don't have a faction. They have they get to choose which faction, which is bullshit. Um, you can't be a pacifist and wow. Um, and I don't know. I may maybe 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 just the fact that like I don't know something about a like. A cow or a fox or a panda having human tits seems weird. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm weird. Maybe I just have a, a, a dysfunctional opinion. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, getting a little off topic. Um, looking forward to seeing what Shadowlands has to offer us more of. Uh, looking forward to getting more along uh, the storyline. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how... Oh, Torghast! Before I forget, Torghast! Torghast is fucking dope! I love it. I've been having the most fun on Torghast. Like, I know people are like, Oh, it's just it's just visions, but reskinned, and it's not that big of a deal, or, or it's boring. No. Torghast is fun as fuck. It is nothing like Visions. I hated Visions. Uh, I love Torghast. Torghast is the most... It's the tits. I like it. I like it. It's like it's like having a raid or a dungeon that you can solo. Um, and I love that. Like, there are some days where I don't want to play with people. That I want to just play by myself. And Torghast is the place to be if you want to do that. I love grinding Torghast. I can't wait to get more legendaries. I can't wait to, you know, get to the upper levels of Torghast. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Um, so yeah, that's what I, th that's my first impressions of Shadowlands. So, um, yeah, uh, e that's, that's really it. Um, thanks guys for watching this video. If you did watch it, um, I was going to do a podcast on, uh, Shadowlands, but I couldn't get, uh, my guild to be like, yeah, sure. So we're, I'm doing the review by myself. Um, and speaking of podcast, uh, up above me, the RR podcast two is the Twitter, uh, go check out R and R podcast. I do with a lovely man named Rohan, who's from Australia. Uh, we talk about sex. We talk about drugs. We talk about, society and politics uh we kind of talk about whatever the fuck we want um and we have a few episodes out as r and r as you know those of you who have been following me for a while r and r podcast was at one point just remy's world podcast uh but when i obtained a co-host who actually had an r name i decided to change the name to r and r um because it's no longer just me 
And uh, so if you want to see old content of Remy's World slash r r podcast, it's on our Patreon. Um, and you'll find the links to our Patreon on our Twitter. Are on our Twitter, so go check out our Twitter. It's right up above me. Um, you can also see the Twitter for my streaming account and f- my Instagram right above me. All of it up there. Um, go check me out. Uh, I also stream on Twitch, uh, Remy Jack's World, all one word. Um, and uh, yeah, I uh, I stream World of Warcraft. I just celebrated my one year streaming anniversary on Twitch where we played Among Us and had a lot of fun. Um, and uh, occasionally I do uh, Thursday potluck panels with a former stream or a former, not a former streamer, a, a streamer and a colleague, uh, Tara Supernova. You can find those VODs in my, uh, my YouTube channel. Go check her out. She's pretty fucking cool too. Um, so yeah. Thanks, guys, for stopping by. I uh, love you all so much, and uh, have fun in Shadowlands. Oh.